I don't want to open it though. Yeah. We uh we're going to pick our remaining corn and then just kind of let it go cuz the grasshoppers I mean look, they're just Texas is plagued, especially here in the country with with grasshoppers. I mean, this is pitiful. Absolutely pitiful. But it's pretty much ready, so I think we beat him to it. He's going to get our corn here. There goes the corn for the year. But we got a good pile of it. Hello, friends. Say hello. Hi, friends. Chris Boatner here. <laughs> we are uh, going to try to make cream corn. We have uh, all of our corn that we've picked and the grasshoppers were taking over, so we decided just to pick it all and go for it. So we got a bunch of corn here, and uh, we got a recipe from Micah McGee Homestead. Shout out to him. Go Shout check his channel out. Yes, and um, he uh, told us how to do this. We're going to do some cream corn. So Chris is um, shucking it. Shucking and jiving. Yeah. He's shucking it, and then... We're going to blanch it for four minutes, and then we're going to cut it off and... Put in bags, put in the freezer. Yeah. So I've got my big pot over here, and we're going to get that water boiling. Right, so we got the pot boiling over there, and he's going to put the, the corn in. We got... We're going to do this much corn this time. See how it turns out. So... Blanch it. Or do them all? Yeah, I'll try. For four minutes. And I assume we set the timer after it comes it's back to a bowl. bowl. That's what I would think. Yeah. Okay, we got it all in there, and he's going to put the lid on there. And after it comes to a bowl, we're going to set the timer for four minutes. And then now we got another big old pot with ice in there. And uh, we are. Well, look who is that. Micah McGee. We're just texting Chris. What does it say? Awesome picture. You've never seen that one. Oh, uh, picture when they were kids. So we're going to do this and um, see how it turns out. Just went yeah. off, so we're going to turn off the um, fire and start putting them in this ice. It smells good, don't it? Yeah. Put them in the ice to cool them down before we start scraping them. And I got this little, let me show you what I got at a thrift store for 75, 75 cents. Um, it's called American Corn Cutter. I, I, it might not be any good, I don't know, but you lay your corn on there and just go up with it. So if not, we'll just do the old fashioned way with a knife. Putting it in that ice water. I'm gonna have to add some more ice here in a minute. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna cut some with the knife and see which one's easier to cut with the knife or to cut with that little corn thing. Still a little, a little warm. Even Still a little warmish. Don't feel like it. So he's holding it up like this. I have no idea. <laughs> Just don't cut your hand. I think you gotta go this way. What do you think? Pretty nifty. Seems like it did it right off there. Yeah, it did. Well, that might be the that might be the and it tool. Makes it, and it makes it uh, uniform. Yeah, and it makes it like cream, like we like. Okay, we have uh, just a few left, and this little American corn cutter is for the win. So we're glad we got that for 75 cents. 
So how are we gonna do this, darling? Uh, we'll put it in Ziploc bags, freeze it, and then when we get ready to eat it, I'm gonna try to turn it over and see if it's sharp. See if I can tell the difference. Um, get ready to eat it, we'll put just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of milk, some butter, and I guess your seasoning, however, whatever kind of seasoning you want, put it in a skillet, heat it up out of the, out of the freezer. And I remember grandmother doing this, and she said to keep it stirred. Don't um, let it scorch. But I wish I knew all of her measurements. But but this is as close to it as we can remember. So, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Go find you some white corn. And, um, and try it. You got anything else to say? I can't wait to eat. <laughs> Let's see y'all next time. I mean, that pretty much got all the milk and the pulp and everything, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, what? how much more could you get off of here? I don't think much. That American corn cutters. I'll have to find another one on eBay. Okay, that little bit of corn that we did did three good little meals for us and um he just uh we put it in a gallon bag because we were out of a uh, quart but and then we just labeled it and uh we'll put a date on there too but it probably won't last three probably weeks. won't last very long but that's uh the way we're gonna do our corn <laughs>